Assalamu alaikum. This week we're talking about reading. You know, video, podcasts, all of that is very popular now. Reading, it's less popular than before. Let's talk about why it's essential for all of us if we want to develop our mindset. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It's Amin here with Sira Masters developing the Muslim mindset for success. And today I just want to discuss some key reasons why, you know, if we want to move forward and develop as an ummah, I believe we must be reading. A lot of us must be reading. And unfortunately now, uh, most of the world, it's not part of their culture to read a lot. You know, we associate, uh, a lot of us, we associate uh, reading with school and studies and, and that's it. And it goes along hand in hand with the idea of continuous improvement, education and, and development. Uh, again, it's not such a common or a popular thing in most parts of the world where you have this idea that even after university, you're still going to develop and, and learn. And us as Muslims, we should definitely, definitely have it as a part of our culture to always be learning and developing and improving ourselves of course you know until until you die you should be always trying to improve whether that's your relationship with Allah and your worship and you know relationship with family and stuff like that or whether it's uh, professionally and, and the skills that you have and always develop those things and a, a big portion of that will be will come through reading I believe and so let me just lay out some few reasons why you know you should not neglect reading uh, podcasts, videos, these are all uh, become much more common uh, in the last, you know, 10 years. Uh, as technology got, it's easier to record videos, it's easier to consume videos, consume podcasts, you know, internet, wherever you go, etc, etc, which is good, which is great. And I watch uh, plenty of videos and there's great videos out there. Uh, but I feel like the videos, although you might think videos, podcasts, etc, they are simply a transfer of information from through whatever medium to your mind, um, there's, it's actually not the case. Uh, reading is a unique thing and, and books are a unique medium with unique uh, benefits that you don't get in video podcasts, etc. So let me just go through that kind of uh, reasons why you, you can't neglect reading. So number one is that books are much harder to write than making a video or a podcast, etc. Depending on, of course, the video on the podcast, you know, some of these are very, very well researched and very well, you know, thought out and, and stuff. But the truth is, is that a video, if you want, you can make a very quick video with not much research, not much time or effort gone into it. And those sometimes are the very popular videos. So it's, you're not guaranteed to get the quality uh, as, as, a, as you would get in a book in a video. Whereas a book, you know, it often takes a year, two years to write a book right and it requires a lot of research and, and people that write books they're expected to put references you know where did you get this idea from where did you get this proof from where do you get this data from and so you know you, you don't get that so much with a video a book you know someone's gonna spend one two years thinking about it pondering doing research writing coming to a conclusion and then you got the whole editing process has to go through a publisher most of the time publisher got to check publisher doesn't want to get in trouble right and it's just much more of a respected and less i guess it is less d democratized right uh, people have uh, less uh, reason to uh, to be p nitpicky with it okay uh, so so that's one reason is that that you're going to find much better quality information in these uh in a book compared to elsewhere most of the time uh, the second thing is that people often they're not going to write a, a book for hype they some people do you know um i don't know like these biographies that people write they write okay obama is no longer president uh he's you know retiring etc and now we're going to write a biography about him because that's hype that's what's trending and will sell a lot of books that's happens but it's much less than video Videos are often on YouTube. It's all about hype. There's no, nothing, no substance compared to the actual hype that people are, are following, right? So, uh, so yeah, people are often writing books because they're passionate about it, because they believe in the topic, because they, they've come to some amazing conclusions or discoveries, and they want to share it with the world in a very structured way, okay? So that's, that's the second thing. The third reason that you, you can't neglect books is that books are slower to consume. Now, what's the benefit of that? You might think, you know, that's that's uh, not a good thing. Books will force you to read slower 
to take information in slower and therefore think about it, digest it in a more thorough way where you're going to come away from it most of the time with more understanding of the topic you're actually trying to learn about. Uh, and so, again, it's simply, it's actually a process. Like I said at the beginning, it's not simply a case of there's information, let me get it into my head. No, the process and the medium through which things go into your head will affect how deeply you understand it, how much you remember about it. Uh, and, and even if you want to get the benefit from like a nonfiction book of changing your mindset, uh, stuff like that, then you're, you're going to want to make sure you're thinking about and you're pondering on it rather than just okay, I heard those words in that podcast, if you know what I mean. So that's the third reason that, you know, you can't neglect books. This is absolutely a unique thing about books, is that it takes time to go through it and to consume that information, and you're more likely to just think deeply about it, okay? And the fourth reason, as a, as a bonus reason, is that a book, you can physically see it. And you can, you kind of respect books more, right? Especially if it's a physical thing, but even if it's like on a Kindle or whatever, for some reason, it's just more in our culture to respect a book. You put it on your bookshelf and this kind of thing. And therefore, it's a reference. You could go back to it. So you might buy a book and again, all about the pondering and the thinking and the digesting of the information, you might have create the habit, which is good, it's recommended, to, to highlight, make highlights and notes in the books that you're reading. And then you can go back to it and you refer back to it or, or you just give yourself a refresher uh, when, when it's relevant to you. And so, that's like another reason why you know books are good is because you can refer back whereas if i listen to a podcast in order to find that one piece of information that i might have forgotten a little bit i have to listen to that whole podcast i might not even remember which podcast episode it was and then same with the video i mean how many videos do we watch you know how are we going to remember exactly where we're going to find that gem in that video whereas if you got the book you got the chapters you got the contents it's just it's the medium it's the medium that is just different the medium is different and we could do the same comparison between video and audio right we could say certain things but right now in this video I'm just saying that books can simply not be neglected if we are to be serious about our development and our constant um, education okay uh, and just on that note I want to recommend a podcast obviously I've got my podcast um, mind heist uh, but there's another podcast which I listened to a few episodes um, they started around the same time as us I believe and I listened to a few episodes recently and it's really, really good. Inspire Reads. Inspire, instead of I uh, at the, in the middle, it's a Y, okay? Inspire Reads. Search that on, on wherever you listen to podcasts. And what they do is they, every uh, couple of weeks, I believe, they take a book, they've read it, and now they discuss it and they review it. And they say, okay, I like this, I didn't like this. And maybe you can get in the the you know habit with them of reading regularly uh, I think reading will change your life and you know like I'm saying this video I really recommend you try it out so you know keep up with the videos the books is all uh, the, the podcast all good but never never neglect books and reading assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah